This time it's a uh, set of suspension rods from my washing machine, but this will work on Whirlpool, Maytag, Kenmore, Admiral, Admana, Inglis, and Roper. Since I hate how other YouTubers make it look like this is fun, it's certainly not fun. There's a thousand other things I'd rather be doing today than this. Let me show you how to do it as quickly as we can. First, we need a quarter inch socket wrench to open up the back. All these professionals who made these other videos, they don't actually show you what the problem looks like. It's when these suspension rods go bad, then this uh, the drum starts going crazy during the, uh, during the final rinse. Uh, it's banging all over the place, bangs against the thing. It'll actually start walking around. You'll see the thing move. Anyway, I'll show you a video of that right now. Try just pushing this down, and if it comes back up more than one bounce, then you've got bad suspension rods. Or otherwise, just listen, and it sounds like all hell's breaking loose when you do the sprint cycle. That works too. First thing is done, plug it. Oh, how about if I turn the water off first? This is just choice. This thing has been on there so long. If I try to undo this, oh my god, that's just going to break it right off. It's going to wrench it right off the dishwasher. That's just not going to do it. See, it's going to pull the whole thing. I've, I've done this before. If you have a big enough wrench, you can uh, you can take a spigot right off of the right off the side of your house. I've done that. I, I thought I had threads and it didn't. I had this all ready. I was going to go ahead and take a whack at that, put some WD-40, but then I realized, let me just take this one off. But yeah, I've got some traction on this now. Ugh, still, man, these things. Corrosion. This is Arizona. We got the worst water in the country, I think. Let's see if I can't get this into that five-gallon drum. Not spilling too much water. There we go. There we go. Okay. I forgot to detach the drain, so let me go ahead and squeeze that. Funny, it looked easier in all the videos. That's probably how you're supposed to do it. Up. Oh. And that's brilliant. There we go. Well, apparently this thing isn't all drained. Okay, let's try that one more time. This time I've got a pan out there. Toy that goes with. I'm a half hour into this project now. This is about at the point in most videos where it's about 10 seconds in, right? I need to remove these two screws. Those two screws there, this roller looks different than the, uh, I think the things I saw in the video I, I watched. And then you need to remove this one as well, move this panel. By the way, it makes an awful loud noise when it falls to the floor. I just pull this up. There we go. Pull this up. And I'm not doing it right. Oh, let me get my here. Yeah, this is, I learned from this from other YouTubers. You tape the thing so it doesn't, so it doesn't flop open. Let's see if that'll work. See if I can get this thing open now. Oh, that was smart. Ah. I'm missing something. I just learned from Matt from AppliancePartsPros.com that what you do is you pull it out, lift it a little, push it back in, and then do it. Oh, look at that. It actually works. Thank you very much, Matt. 
My goodness, this is fascinating. I didn't see anybody describe this. On this roper, this does not have hinges. This thing just sits on here. So when I lifted this thing up, it actually came off. I've got to watch out for that. So I'm going to have to be super careful. Maybe I'll actually get a lanyard and attach it here, as Matt from Appliance Parts Pro suggests. But that's interesting on the roper. This thing could just fall off. And that's going to be in a world of hurt because, you know, there's stuff attached on the back here. Okay, well, there goes another half an hour, but I, I just, I couldn't do this without something holding it up. So I just rigged this. Um, that, that wasn't looking very tight. Got this thing there. That's not going anywhere. Yeah, I need to do that because I need to lift this thing up. The guys who make these other videos, why don't you tell everybody when they, when they pull these things out, they're going to be... The whole weight of this thing is going to be, that, that's actually going to have, you're going to have to lift the whole weight of this thing. So the whole point now is I need to get this thing up, spin this around, and then take, and then let it down. Take this out. I can't do it with one hand, so but trust me, I'm going to take this thing out of there and then let it down. And then do that all the way around on all four of these suspension rods. Then I'm going to flip the thing on its back and take out the rods. So first things first, let's do that. Okay, my goodness, five of the worst minutes of my life, especially this last one. I'm trying to get this thing out. Two hands, forget about it. Anyway, so take these out, take the, uh, take the little, uh, this is a sleeve that goes around it, take those out. This is the new, it's just out of suspension rods. You can get them on eBay. I'd or, I would order the, the ones directly from Whirlpool, they're around $57. Uh, I did a lot of searching and reading all of the reviews of the $25 to $29 ones. And uh, even though they've got, you know, 5,000 reviews or whatever, uh, read the reviews. Everybody's like, yeah, this thing started uh, doing the same thing after three washes. So uh, everybody's like, you know, I learned my lesson. I tried to get cheap. I paid for the cheap ones, but just get the... Get the real ones, the market ones, not the aftermarket ones. Oop, there we go. Before I flip this thing on its back, I'm going to pull one of these screws back in. Okay, so everybody says you just have to pull these things out now. Let me start with this one. There we go. So here's the old one. Interesting. Look at that. It's pinched up against the uh, weight. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. So let's do an unboxing. There should be four things in here. And there should be the little plastic things. I sure hope the plastic things are. Oh, there we go. There's one, two, three. Those are the new ones. These are the old ones. You see that little uh, piece of plastic there? That's going to go through the hole. And then if you see the hook on the end, that's going to come close to the hole at the top that we see right there. It's not going to go all the way in. You're going to have to pull it through when you set this thing back up upright. Okay, it's time to flip this thing back up. But what? aren't these things just going to fall out? I mean, there's nothing holding them in there. I don't have them hooked to anything. When I tip this thing back over, unless I do it real quick, these things just going to fall right out. This should be a moment of high drama. Well, they didn't fall out. Dang, well that one got, that one got lucky there. That one just hooked on. Okay, I do not know how that worked. Oh, it was those little pieces of plastic. See that little piece of plastic? Yeah, that little piece of plastic cut these things from falling out. Okay, next up we put put this thing back in, the new one in, seat it, just press it down until it snaps, there we go. It didn't really snap very convincingly, did it? Oh well, I guess that'll have to do. It did not snap. And then this goes in there, and now I'm ready to grab this, and I'll need two hands for that. Wow, that was not easy. All your might, you got to grab this thing, bring it up, and then put that seat that thing on. 
after it's seated, it wasn't aligned properly, so I just had to move that, move the plastic so it snapped on. It didn't quite snap in the way I thought it would. Maybe this is stupid, but I got the first one. The second one wasn't going, so I've just hooked it. I just hooked the third and the fourth because it seems it's a lot easier to work with this thing when we're, we've got it up, you know, lifted up already. Now I'm just going to push this down, loop it around, bring it up, and then snap that into place. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, that, that actually worked like a charm. So I can't film it for you. Okay, let me see if I can demonstrate this one, last one. So I'll bring this up. I'll just grab this. See if I can get it to uh, seat properly. Now the bottom thing, and you can't see this, but this bottom thing, yeah, it's not really snapping in place, so I'm just going to need to bully it into place. Uh, here, let me see. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah that, that thing has to be seated properly, the uh, piece of plastic has to be set so that it's, uh, you know, just aligned the way it looks like it's supposed to align. That's a slightly different design than the old ones. Remember that test I said I read about? Well, watch this. That looks a lot better. Is there any bouncing once? Okay, put everything back in opposite order of what I did before I took it apart. I'm about to go ahead and plug everything back in and give it a test. Okay, so here's the test. Here's all my wet towels. You know not distributed particularly evenly. I got it on drain spin. Let's see what happens when we run it. Should this should have fixed it. What the heck is that sound? That did not sound good. Okay, it just started up again. Come on. goes. There it goes, but it's holding it. You can see it's wobbling, but it's holding. Alright, <laughs> I think this is actually going to work. Very cool. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see it's wobbling? Next to the, uh, the washer or the dryer there. Yeah, it's going to do it. I hope it's not like the, uh, you know, some people were saying, yeah, it only worked for the first three washes. But those were for the cheap springs. I got the expensive springs. Let's see how it goes. Very cool. Well, that's, that's fine for me. That, that, that proves it for me. Yeah, there we go.